Hey there. So this is my home rigged um, HD TDCS electrodes as you can see. I got some wires spliced hooked up to my Iontophoresis device. Um, I haven't turned the device on yet so I'm not actually sure if this is going to work. Uh, my primary concern has been that the current density through such tiny electrodes will cause damage uh, and the only way I can see that happening is if the cathode, that's a one anode in the middle, cathode surrounding it is if the current is not evenly dispersed throughout all the cathodes and I don't know that that's going to happen but I'm about to turn the machine on and uh, we'll find out if this works. Let's see if I've even reduced the resistance enough to get there. Here we go. Ooh, that stings a little. It's going up. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. This is the uh, dorsolateral prefrontal cortex montage that I have. Immediately I feel like I just took a whole bunch of nootropics. So I know that the current's definitely going across my skull. Right underneath the anode, there is some more discomfort than I'm used to, uh, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully, that's not going to persist, um, and hopefully it's it's not doing any damage. But I, I'm glad to see that it, at least it's working, uh, that I have current going through my skull under these tiny electrodes. and in an HD TDCS montage. So that's cool. I play some brain games now. Cambridge Brain Sciences. Ugh. I don't know how score 52 is. Performance rating 94%. So apparently, that was really good. Okay, right on. Ow, that hurt. Plus I came undone. Weird. I lost total connectivity. Weird. That's what that means. Alright, so I've decided to take the the rig off, a uh, very strange thing happened. It felt like something popped and then all of a sudden I lost the current. Um, when I turned the machine off and then back on again, it started ramping up again like nothing was wrong. I don't know if one of the connections uh, to the lead wires just got loose or I don't know. Um, at any rate, uh, looking at the area that I had the electrodes connected to, granted I was only I was only um, pumping current into my skull for about uh, 10 minutes. There are no red marks, uh, so there's no visible sign of damage. Uh, although I will uh, once again mention and reiterate that it was uh, somewhat painful. Um, I started kind of getting used to the pain uh, as the session went on uh, but whenever that pop occurred and the current got lost instead of you know the current being ramped down uh, that that hurt um, at any rate I would like to conduct more um, cognitive tests uh, with this particular setup with an HD uh, TDCS montage uh, but uh, for now I'll say that um, I could feel noticeably enhanced, which is to be expected. That's how it is even with the sponge electrodes. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much of a difference uh, I should feel um, under the influence of TDCS with an HD setup, but um, I imagine uh, with the research I've done, I think it's supposed to make the effects last longer. So... Uh, for a while there, when I was doing uh, TDCS sessions, I noticed that shortly after I took the machine, uh, turned it off, 
that noticeable feeling of enhancement uh, would go away. Um, right now, that hasn't gone away, and I don't know if that's just because I haven't used uh, the, the device in so long, or if it has anything to do with the uh, HD uh, setup, but uh, future studies will tell. But So, that was my very first uh, home-rigged HD TDCS session, and uh, thank you very much for joining me for it. Um, Stay tuned and we'll continue with this line of experimentation. Be well and do good things.